This is Into Math 3rd grade, lesson 10.3, Combine Place Values to Subtract. I can combine place values and use flexible grouping to subtract two and three digit numbers. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 280. You can pause any time you need. We will start under Build Understanding, part one. This map shows the populations of Wilton and Lakeside. How many more people live in Wilton? So we see that Wilton has a population of 327 and Lakeside has a population of 292. So we need to write an equation. So if you would like to pause and try this on your own, you can do so. Um, but we're going to start by writing the population of Wilton, which is 327, and we're trying to compare it to Lakeside. So we will be taking away the amount at Lakeside, which is 292. And then our next part of, um, part of question one says to estimate. And as we've been learning, an estimate is a number close to an exact amount. So we're looking for about how many or about how much. If you would like to try to estimate on your own, you can pause and do so and come back. Otherwise, you can follow along with me. So looking at the first number, 327, and I'm gonna be looking for a compatible number for my estimation. And that just means I'm looking for a number that's easy to compute mentally. And a really good um, hint is to think of numbers that end in zero or five in the ones place. So 327, I'm going to estimate as 330 because it's pretty close to that number. And then I'm gonna take a look at 292 and I'm gonna estimate that this is 290 and having zeros and fives in the ones place helps me compute the numbers um, easily so they're more compatible. So again, if you would like to pause now and complete the estimation of 330, take away 290, you can do that. And you will find that the answer is 40. So now let's take a look at part A. How can you rewrite 327 and 292 using tens and ones? When I look at the number 327, I know this is the ones, the tens, and the hundreds place value. Um, so if I only want to write this number using the tens and the ones place value, I just need to remember that every hundred, for every 100, there really are 10 tens. And so what that means is if I have 100 here, I can cut the 100 into 10 groups of 10 and this value is still the same, which means that 327 can really mean 32 tens and seven ones. And 292 can really be called 29 tens and two ones. So I will explain my thinking in part A. So 327 is 32 tens and seven ones, and 292 is 29 tens and two ones. Now let's take a look at part B. How can you subtract 327 and 292 using the tens and ones. And they give us a hint here that says, think, combined the hundreds and tens places as tens. So the first step we will do is to subtract um, the ones column, which is seven take away two, and that gives us five left over. And then we will subtract the 32 from the 29, and we will find that we have three tens left over. So part C asks how many more people live in Wilton? And we can answer 35 more people. 
Part D asks, why would you combine place values to subtract? And we know that in the tens place, um, we were looking at two take away nine in the tens, and there wasn't enough. You can't take nine from two. So we had to um, go to the next place value and make, um, make these digits combined next to each other. So now we have 32 take away 29, which allows us to um, subtract and use mental math to find the difference between 32 and 29. So we can explain that when there's not enough in a place value to subtract, I can combine two digits that are next to each other and use mental math to subtract. Part E, how do you know if your answer is reasonable? Well, we did an estimation in the beginning and we found that our estimation was 40. And our the real answer we found is 35 more people. And we can explain that my answer is reasonable because 35 is close to my estimate of 40, which I found by rounding to the nearest 10. Now let's take a look at the next page, page 281 under Step It Out, part two. Combine place values to find the difference. So the problem we have says 300 take away 24. First, we need to estimate. So if you'd like to pause and try this on your own and come back, uh, you should be estimating uh, to the nearest 10. And so um, we will keep the 300 the same and we will take away 20 because 24 is closer to 20 than 30. And then when we solve 300 take away 20, we will find that that is 280. All right, now we're ready to look at part A. First, we see that 300 is broken into this many tens and this many ones. And just like we did before, we know that 300 is really 30 tens. And I'm just going to highlight here where that 30 is um, in the 300. That's the 30 and there are zero um, ones left over. So I can confidently rewrite 300 as 30 tens and zero ones. Now let's take a look at 24. So 24, we have two tens and four ones. Okay, so now we look at part A. Since we know that four is bigger than zero, it's greater than zero, and that two is bigger than zero, we can combine the place values of the hundreds and the tens as tens. So now we have rewritten the numbers as tens and ones. Now let's look at part B, regroup 30 tens as tens and ones. So I'm gonna take my 30 tens. I'm gonna take one of those tens from the 30. Here I've drawn a picture, here's one 10. And I'm going to just break it apart and make it into 10 ones. So I have one group of 10 from the 30 and I'm just gonna take it and break it into 10 ones. So now I won't have 30 tens anymore because I took one away. So when I take one away, I'm left with 29 tens, and then the 10 that I took, I broke it into the 10 ones, and so I'm gonna put 10 ones here. So now we have a new subtraction problem. We have 29 tens and 10 ones, take away two tens and four ones. And now we can do part C, subtract the ones column. So when we subtract the ones column, 10 take away four will give us six. And then we need to subtract the tens column and 29 take away two makes 27. So if you would like to go back and rewatch any of this video, you can do so and pause along the way anytime as needed.